Good morning, Instagram, Facebook friends. I just, YouTube, I'm gonna put this video on all my social media sites and my YouTube channel, but I just wanted to hop on here real quick and do a short video to say, it is okay to not be okay. We are going through a lot right now with this coronavirus being locked in our home, having to wear a mask, change in our schooling, change in relationships, change in our finances, change in having to cover our face, wearing a mask. And um, those who have health issues, it may be bothering you. Those who have been affected by past trauma, it may remind you of somebody having something over your face. There's a lot of changes going on that we do not have any control over. But I want to tell you that suicide and over drug overdose is not the answer. Suicide and drug overdose is not the answer, my friends. We are all feeling deep pain. We are all feeling sorrow. We are all having those days where we feel like we don't want to get, get up because we feel like we can't do it anymore. You know what? But we cannot carry this burden that is upon us with all the division in the world and all the hate in the world and all the crime in the world. This is a burden that we are not called to carry. We need to cast our care upon the Lord. When we're hurting, we got to open ourselves to something greater than ourselves and say, Jesus, I need you to come heal this. I don't know why I'm feeling this way, but we need to learn to sit in those feelings and wrestle with those feelings. But I had just felt like I had to do this video to tell you that it is okay it is okay if you feel like you're not okay. It is okay if you feel like your whole world has been turned upside down. But I want to tell you, you're going to make this through. You're going to make this through and you don't have to do it alone. I encourage you to pray to God, but sometimes we need another source of encouragement. And you know what? This is where I found myself in, having to homeschool, having to be able to go, um, not go places that I usually go, just coffee with a friend without having to wear a mask, so on and so forth. I have found myself even turning back to stinking thinking or coping behaviors that's unacceptable. But you know what? I've learned that I got to come out on this. I got to find the tools that are going to help me to come through this, to break through and break forth. So as of today, I'm picking up my mat. Like Jesus says, pick up your mat. I am picking up my mat today and I am surrendering all my fears, all my failures, all my worries, all my concerns, worrying about the world, worrying about the children, what's going to happen in school, my hurt, my pain. I am giving it to the Lord today and I want to encourage you to do that, for you to do that too. But taking your life is not the answer. Drinking wine and doing drugs is not the answer. Turn to Jesus. Turn to Jesus. This is a time for you to run to him and let him strengthen your character. There's so much strength in there. The pain that you're feeling today, he is going to turn that pain into your purpose and your message. If you are struggling so bad, pick up the phone, find a therapist. If you are struggling with addiction, find a 12-step recovery program. They even have them online. If you are struggling and you don't even know what to do, reach out to me, message me. Pick up the phone and call a trusted friend. Don't go through life in this season alone. Not everybody has the gift of encouraging themselves. This is something that I am learning to how to encourage myself in the Lord. And it is hard. But I'm going to fight and I want you to fight with me. If you've watched this video all the way through and you're willing to fight, I want you to put in the comments below, I'm willing to fight. Because you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. And you can do all things through him.